Welcome to our homestead and welcome to our kitchen. Today we're going to be showing you how to make a pear butter in an instant pot with the pears that we just picked off our tree last week. Let's get going. So the first part is done in the instant pot and it makes this process go way faster than normal. But you're still going to need to use your blender and then we will take out the insert, the stainless steel insert, out of the instant pot and put it on the stove to complete our pear butter. All right, it's step one. We're going to peel and quarter our pears. So a good thing to have handy is a bowl of cold water. And what we're going to do is we're going to juice half a lemon into that bowl just so when we quarter our pears after they're peeled, they don't get uh, brown and oxidized. This will help to keep them from oxidizing. Now comes the fun part, the tedious process of peeling your pears. But it really must be done on most pear varieties because the skin is just too tough. So utilize whatever knife you have and what's easiest for you in taking out the uh, center of your pears. For us, we can use our Santoku knife, it's fine. You may want a paring knife or if you have a metal melon baller, which uh, works really well with pears because they're very hard, you can also use that. But do what's easiest for you. Now for this recipe, we are going to use four pounds of pears. That is about 13, 12 to 13 peeled medium sized pears but get close to four pounds. It's always good to have a scale in your kitchen for that reason. Now that we have all of our pears cut up and in our instant pot, we are going to add three quarters of a cup of water, a tiny pinch of salt. Now, a lot of you know, salt enhances flavor. If you put too much, it's gonna taste salty, but a little pinch like that will enhance the flavor of your pear butter later. We're also gonna add just a tiny squeeze of lemon, not too much either because I'd say maybe a half a teaspoon because if we do then it's going to give it more of a soury taste and we really don't want that. Now I like to add a few spices. We like cardamom and star anise. You can add cinnamon, you can add nutmeg, allspice, whatever you like. It's your personal preference. And if you don't want to add anything like that, it's great just by itself. We're going to put the top on, lock it down, and we're going to use the manual function and set it for six minutes. Six minutes is all you'll need in your Instant Pot. It'll break them down really fast and then we can transfer them to our blender. Okay, our pears are done. The next thing for us to do is transfer them into our blender. So we're not gonna wanna transfer all the liquid into there, just a little bit of the liquid. We're gonna scoop these out and place them in. You're going to be left with a decent amount of liquid in the bottom of your Instant Pot and that is cooked out. You want to get that liquid out of there because when we make our pear butter we're going to reduce it even more and we want as little liquid in there as possible. Just enough liquid for our blender to blend it properly. We're going to blend this until it's very, very smooth. So this is the cool thing about the Instant Pot. You can use the stainless steel inside pot right on your stove. So we're going to actually pour our mixture. It's basically a pear sauce at this point. We're going to pour it all in here and we are going to bring it up to a simmer, probably medium high height. Once we hit that simmer, we're going to back that um, temperature back down to about medium low, maybe even just at the top between low and medium low because we want to slowly cook out all of that water that's in there. And what that will start to do is concentrate the sugars in our pear butter. It will thicken up and it will become sweeter because all that water is gone and that's what we want. We want it cooked down it'll start to turn a beautiful golden brown and I'll show you the end product in a minute. With this amount of pear sauce, it's going to take about an hour and a half, maybe a little bit longer to cook this down to where it's the proper consistency. Now there's a lot of water in it right now, but you want to make sure that you're continually stirring throughout this process just to make sure things are not sticking or burning on the bottom, especially when it starts to reduce and get towards that consistency that we want. Now the reason we're not using the 
Instant Pot itself for the rest of the process is the saute feature we found is just way too strong. It's way too hot to be able to cook this down at a slow rate like we need it to. The saute feature on there seems to be like a medium high and that's just not appropriate for this process. Now you could try to use the slow cook, but you also have to close the top. So that's not really gonna work. You can leave the valve open at the top. Also kind of a pain and not really appropriate for this process. So just bring it out, put it on the stove. Okay, it's actually been about two hours and I got it to cook down to about a third of what I had put in the pot originally. Let's show you what the color looks like and then we'll put it in our canning jars. Look at that gorgeous brown color and you can see, like I said, it's about a third of what we started with. Let's get it into the jar. Well, here it is. How beautiful is that? We got one pint from the 13 pears that we did earlier in the process. So that gives you an idea of how many pears you're going to need for however much you want for your family. And I've got a spoon right here. I haven't tasted it yet. This is from the pot. Now it's all over my mustache and on my beard, but it is fantastic. It does have a little bit of tartness to it still, but I like it like that. If you want it more concentrated, you can cook it down a little bit more if you like. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comment section below the video. Now I want you to go check out this video right here, which shows you how to properly harvest and ripen your pears, and this video right here, which shows you how to water bath canned pears. Have a great day, we'll see you on the next video. Bye.